Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this edition of Grassroots Racing Show. Hi, I'm Doug Thompson with co-host Roger Thompson. You're watching the Grassroots Racing Show, and thank you so much for supporting the show. Roger, this week we sent Mike Kraft and the film crew out to a track that's pretty special to us because uh, we both have been on that track a time or two, and I'm looking forward to going there, but it's Heartland Park at Topeka. Beautiful facility. Incredibly, they got a race in on April the 6th of this year uh, when most people haven't been able to get a race in to, to uh, into May. But they had one good night and a big crowd and a huge car count. And it looks like it's going to be quite a uh, quite an event. Yeah, it is. And uh, I'm looking forward to going up to Heartland Park. You ran with the Outlaws or ran up with uh, Sprint cars at Heartland once, didn't you? Yes. And a beautiful track, isn't it? Oh, it's a nice track. I just really liked it. And uh, it's close enough the crowd really gets into it because it's... Uh, they get a feeling of being right there. I mean, it's tight corners and fast, and it's a, it's a fun track, no doubt. Yeah, it is, and the racing's good. We were looking at the results, and I recognized some of the names, not because I know the people racing on there, but because I knew, I guess, maybe by now it's getting to either be their grandfather or their father. But um, we have our modified going to go up and run with the B-Mods. But you're going to get the chance to watch some really great racing from Heartland Park in Topeka. I want you to stay tuned. Mike Kraft, as always, has great film footage, so stay tuned. You're watching the Grassroots Racing Show on Eagle. Thank you for watching, and enjoy the races. stock champion from last year, Randall Schiffelbein. Schiffelbein. I got it right early. Right <laughs> Schiffelbein. All I can say is, Randall, you've changed classes this year, but man, you know how tough it is to win a point season, man. I mean, it's an all-summer battle, yes. and here you're jumping into the new deal, but first of all, let's go back to last year. You got to be happy with what happened last year, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, I'm very happy with the way it started last year, and we just continued it throughout the season, and nobody expected a little rookie come up and start winning races, so uh, we just kind of kept, kept our ground and kept, you know, finished every race, and that's all we needed to do. The factory stock winner from last year, Terry Schmidt. Uh, Terry, man, uh, long summer, but you pulled it out. Yeah, it was a long summer. Anytime you race for points, it makes it a long summer. <laughs> You know, I got to thinking about it a little bit today, and man, you got to have money, you got to have time, you got to have some young kids or a crew to help you out. You just can't do it by yourself, can you? No, it, it ain't no way you can do it by yourself. Uh, it wouldn't be fun either, you know. Uh, it takes a lot of money, more money than it should take, you know. <laughs> it's all you do is spin, 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 you know. It, it's fun. You wouldn't do it, but it's, it's adrenaline rush, you know. It's, that's what you do it here for, and it, it's pretty good they're pretty clean racing out there so that, that makes it even better i was gonna say you just come in from your heat race i heard it was a pretty close race i didn't get to see it yeah. but uh, like you say man the first one right off the year here and and uh, running tight with somebody out there a lot of fun you say oh yeah it's always a good time good time yeah it, that's what we're here for yeah. the points champions from the b mods last year ethan isaacs uh, ethan man that, that b mod class just gets tougher and tougher every year but you managed to pull down the points championship last year yeah, we uh, managed to pull it off last year. We're not doing so hot this year on opening night, but uh, had some good cars here last year. Uh, had to outrun Terry Bivens, put up a heck of a fight. He blew a motor a couple weeks prior to the season ending, which kind of took him out. But all in all, we had a good season last year, hoping to start off this year with a bang, too. Hi, I'm Pat Neal. The 53 Thanks for team, in to Tyler Gar is sitting into that racing. second position. Then it's going to be Kyle Rowland, followed by Randy Cohn. And then Byron Glotzbach, your top five. Leif Garst just outside in sixth. Tyler Hendricks in that 25, sitting in seventh. Eighth is now A.J. Christian. Ninth is Ron Cohn. And then David McDonald right behind him in the 19.
waging up front. Tyler Garst trying to make a move on the inside. Darren Davenport doing everything he can to fight him off on that high line. Davenport, Garst back and forth. Who's it going to be? I'm Ken Petro, and you're watching the Daphne Tracy Show on my favorite network. the stripe it is going to be Tyler Garst getting the win in the 53 T Darren Davenport comes home second got the winner of the pure stock race here tonight Tyler Garst uh, Tyler uh, man some late race heroics there to get this one uh, for the win uh, yeah kind of picking up where we left off last year uh, took one on the last lap last year but uh, you know had a good side-by-side -side race the whole time and pulled it out there with a used lap car to my advantage. Now move up, Jake Richards to the outside front row position. Tracy Schaefer in that X1 will also move up along the whole right side. Everybody moves up one spot.
Richards will look to light the fires one more time. before this one's over. Or could it be Nick Bennett or even Jake Richards hanging on this one? Richards on the field. Odds here at BriggsAuto.com Speedway tonight. David Samuels. Almost forgot, David. <laughs> I'm getting old, man. But anyway, that was a great run out there. And I think, uh, was that a last lap pass, if I remember right? Down the back straightaway on the white flag lap is when I got him. I, I, I think I had my eyes closed, so I really don't know. I'm going to have to watch the video to really play it back. There was a lap car. We split the lap car going yes. down the back straightaway. And I just, I got beside him going into three, and I just said to myself, I got you. Yeah. I got you. 
good clean racing up front with everybody and stuff side by side and, and jake's a great competitor i love racing against him and, and i'm going to go down to his playground probably friday at lakeside and, and i'm sure he'll be looking for me <laughs> B1 of Terry Schmidt. To his outside will be the 97Z of Zach Henry. Row number two, the 5K of Steve Herrick and the 10C of Travis Tenpenny. In row number three, it'll be the one and one of Bob Troutwine and the 60K of James King. Then in row number four, it'll be the 15 of Eric Weir. To his outside, the 24 of Tyson Young. The 01 of Rockin' Ronnie Moore and the 12S of Dustin Seavers make up row number five. Then in row number six, it'll be Craig Springer in the 16 and the 28 of Leaf Weir. Had duel to two. If he can make it out, it'll be in the 111 inside of row number seven. And to his outside, it'll be Ken Garcia in the two. Then it's going to be the showstopper, the 12M of Danny Masters in row number eight. All by his lonesome. Turn number two, he's up against the wall. Tough night for the 111 of Abdul Chatu. His struggles continue. Dustin Seavers and also Bob Troutwine stop during this yellow. Roger Fitz back, hot rod of Terry Schmidt out in front of this field. Five laps of 15 down. Gentlemen, hold on to your hats. Here we go one more time. Steve Herrick looking to get a jump on Terry Schmidt. He'll settle in behind Schmidt. Here comes Zach Henry riding the high side. Henry around for third. Tenpenny trying to fight him off on the bottom. Up high, trying to get a run off the banking as he. Can 
comes down into turn three. Schmidt shuts the door one more time. Eric Ware now working his way into the top five as he moves by Ted Penny for fourth. Smoke coming out of the 97C of Zach Henry. Trouble for Craig Springer. Springer back around over here in turn number four. That's going to bring out the yellow one more time. Jim Dandy of a barn burner brewing here, ladies and gentlemen, in Topeka, Kansas, here at Heartland Park, Topeka. Factory stock class, excuse me, stock car class. I'm going to have to get used to that one. Always an exciting one here at BriggsAuto.com Speedway tonight. No different. Terry Schmidt, Steve Herrick, Zach Henry, Eric Weir, Travis Tenpenny trying to set us up for some late race heroics as we continue on through this A main. Lights go out one more time. Terry Schmidt, Steve Herrick ready to light it up one more time. They sail into turn number one. Out of turn two. Here comes Herrick on the bottom of the racetrack. Herrick with a good run. Schmidt looking to shut the door. Side by side they go. At the line, it's still Terry Schmidt. Zach Henry working his way into the mix. Stepping it upstairs. Herrick with a run on the high line. Schmidt trying to fend him off. Herrick will spin the tires coming out of turn two. He'll lose some ground. Here comes Travis Penny. Tin Penny with a dive bomb move. Trouble for Steve Herrick. Herrick off the pace as Tin Penny goes into second. Steve Herrick trying to get to the infield. Ronnie Moore gets by him. We stay green on the speedway. Schmidt now with a big lead. Ten Penny with the move of the night so far, putting him in second spot. He's now in a battle with Zach Henry and Eric Weir. Gets back around. Ten Penny on the outside. White flag in the hands of Bob Bardsley. Could it be Terry Schmidt again? White comes out for Schmidt. One lap to go. Terry Schmidt sets her sail into turn four. He'll come roaring to the flag stand. Your winner, Terry Schmidt. Zach Henry second, Ten Penny third, Eric Weir in fourth. Fifth will go to Leaf Weir. Man, that's quite a number, Terry. And man, I mean, you did it tonight. You pulled out that feature win for the factory stocks or stock cars or whatever they are. Mm -hmm. Well, it wasn't an easy. It wasn't an easy night. I mean, we we ran hard. Uh, I was trying to take uh, 5K's line down down low, and then. Uh, there wasn't much track left. It was getting slick, and uh, I tell you what, that was fun though. That was a that was that was a race right there. Cliff Shepard, Tad Davis, your front row for this 25 lap A main. In row number two, it'll be the 30 of Dalton Kirk and the 5K of Jake Richards. Brandon Givens in the 10B starts inside of row number three to his outside out of Topeka, Kansas. It'll be the 11H of Jim Hernandez. Then it's going to be Stephen Bowers Jr. inside of row number four to his outside. It'll be the 68 of Kerry Davis. Mike Eisenhut in the two and the 05 of Tom Grist start in row number five 
Row six will be made up of the 178 of Alan Halderman and the 51 of Robert Shepard. Jared Rogers in the 44 and Darren Robinson in the 32 D will start in row seven. Shotgun on the field will be the 04 of Jay Bailey. We will go racing this time out of turn number four. Tad Davis, Cliff Shepard, 25 laps of pure excitement. in the high line from back in the field. Hold on, Brandon Givens. Givens goes around. And we'll have our first yellow of the night. The yellow flag comes out. Givens looks like he had to check up. And as he checked up, he went around over in turn number three. Is now the beneficiary of that one. He'll move up into row number three. And we shall go green this time by Dave Boyles. Gives him the go ahead on the back straightaway. Tad Davis, Cliff Shepard will try it one more time. will shoot out to the early lead. Dalton Kirk in second. Shepard back to third, Hernandez fourth. Fifth right now, Bowers, but here comes Kerry Davis and Jake Richards. Looks like the two of Mike Eisenhut off the pace at the bottom of turn number two. Eisenhut coming to a stop will bring out the yellow flag. Tad Davis. Trying to pick up a win here at BriggsAuto.com Speedway. Bowers making a move on the restart. He'll shoot into third spot. Top three. Hernandez still in fourth. Yellow come 
comes out. Two cars stuck together. Looks like Mike Eisenhut. Waiting to see who the other car is. Bad angle for me right now. Tad Davis, Dalton Kirk, Stephen Byers Jr. ready to go one more time as the green flag waves. for some magic up high. Jake Richards now works his way to a top five spot. He's now in fourth. Dalton Kirk with a good run. He'll lose some spots though as he gets loose. Going up the racetrack.
is going to grab the white flag. It will be coming out soon. Ted Davis reeling in Stephen Byers Jr. Dalton Kirk on the back straightaway. He'll come out of turn number four this time, getting the white flag. Dalton Kirk, one lap away from picking up his first A mod victory. Ladies and gentlemen, yet another great feature here tonight on opening night of the Super 8 of Forbes Landing Saturday Showdown here at BriggsAuto.com Speedway. Dalton Kirk out of Gardner, Kansas. We got the A main winner here for the Modifieds tonight at BriggsAuto.com. Just happens to be our in-car camera guy here earlier on. Probably opened the video with it, but Dalton Kirk. Uh, Dalton, a really nice run out there. Uh, you had to battle with uh, uh, Bowers, I think it was, there for a while for second, but you finally got that and then got around the leader. Yeah, you know, uh, starting off, it was a little rough just trying to find where the car liked to run best. And uh, once we found it, you know, just started working our way to the leader and finally got around him. Um, from there, it just was a easy route to the finish. Looked like you were having just a little bit of trouble getting off of turn two. I think you were four seemed to be pretty good, but I know when you were racing with Bowers, you kind of drifted up pretty high there, and I thought, oh, he's going to get under him and get under him, but you managed to pull it out. Were you having a little trouble coming out of two? Yeah, you know, spinning tires a little bit coming out of two and just carried me up to the wall, but, um, you know, I s slowed down a little bit and just got it going in the right direction. Yeah. I have to ask you, I'm not trying to start any trouble or anything here, but was there any contact with the 75 there when you took the lead coming out of four? Because it looked like he got just a little bit squirrely. Was it a little bump and run, or did he do that on his own? Um, I tagged him a little bit, but, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> that I didn't hit him hard enough to take him out or anything. So I was going to say, he didn't lose control. Like you say, just kind of disturbed the car a little bit but he gathered it back up and then come back i think finished uh, second if i remember i know I, I don't know second or third but anyway that was a fun race to watch it looked like it was pretty slick and had a good run thank you welcome back to the grassroots racing show i'm doug thompson with co-host roger thompson you've been watching racing action from heartland park at topeka and that was some good racing, Roger. You know, it was good racing, and uh, just like in most racing, there's a learning curve, and that little fellow that won the B-Mod, uh, Dave Samuels, spent about a year in training. Last year, he was with the B-Mods, and this year, he figured it out. Did some work on his car over the winter, and uh, tweaked the chassis a little bit, and did some engine work, and it paid off. He chased this fellow, I don't remember who it was, I think it was Richards, Jake Richards, through most of the race, uh, figured out where Richards was slow and got in there and passed him. It was some exciting racing. But more importantly than that, it was a night for Heartland Park when they had four classes. You had your pure stocks, the B mods, the modifieds, and the stock car class. And um, they had a good night of racing. It was beautiful weather. The track couldn't have been better. And uh, everyone got their money's worth uh, on the 6th of April, I'll tell you that. By the way, the name of that track is Heartland Park, and it's sponsored by BriggsAuto.com. It's called BriggsAuto.com Speedway now, in addition yeah. to Heartland Park, I think. And Briggs dealerships are, of course, big throughout central Kansas. Oh, yeah. Major sponsor for um, a lot of the community functions. I'm sure Heartland Park's delighted to have him. It looked like at Heartland Park that they had a really good crowd. They did have a good crowd, and uh, as usual, the Modifieds put on a terrific race. Fifteen guys finished that Modified race. And, uh, yeah, Dalton Kirk won it, but uh, Jake Richards, he ran the, both classes. He ran the B mods and the modified class. He finished fourth in the uh, modifieds and second in the B mods. 
So uh, I think you're going to have your hands full this year when you go down and run with these B-Mod guys. Oh, they, I'm sure that's they've true. They've been doing it a while. I'm sure that's true, and I'm probably a little rusty, but the crew's got the race car ready to go, and they've been saying, well, let's get started. Let's, when are we going racing? But I've tried to tell them that uh, not only are we doing the grassroots racing show, but we're also doing, hey, whatever happened to and that's a uh, each week is a new celebrity from across Kansas. You can check that website out by going to heywhateverhappentoo.org. And of course, you can go to the Grassroots Racing Show uh, .org, and you can catch any of the shows that we've done because they are all archived uh, on that system, and it just makes for really a good opportunity. And there's a lot of racing in car cameras. A lot of racing uh, on those shows. Just what I was going to say. You know, with Mike Kraft, we got in car cameras. It's just fantastic racing. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.